right, moving on now, there are many things happening along the Strip. And one of the last classic venues, really, at Caesars Palace, is now home to many revolving acts and different shows that have opened up. Cleopatra's Barge, I'm sure you've been there at some point in your life if you lived there a long time. John Castellamides from the Review Journal is here to tell us more about these new shows. Uh, some of them have been around in town right. for a while, but new to the Barge. Yeah, the, it is all old and new, you know. Yeah. It's familiar names in a familiar place, and they're all, uh, they're, they're coming together you know there, there's a collision of entertainment happening there in the post Matt Goss era that's the Gossy room for six yeah. and a half years and we were wondering what was going to happen with it and they made a decision really quick to open up that lounge and bring in some local acts and I was there uh, Saturday night with uh, David Perico and Pop Strings and it was uh, it was really fun was it was it? a really different wide open old Vegas scene yeah, yeah. well because a lot of people want to keep the barge we always feel like people are going to go up in arms mm -hmm. if the barge goes away so to put to put different acts in there is a is an idea that obviously they're trying out and just bring people in and keep it alive exactly yeah you're absolutely right I mean the barge is is uh, both um, <laughs> it's it's outdated but yet uh, remarkably unique and yes. appealing for that reason. Exactly. You know, it's it's the it's the it's modeled after the mm -hmm. vessels that took royalty on the Egyptian Nile in the mm -hmm. in the days of Cleopatra. So that's how it's modeled. Yeah. And it goes back to 1970. Right. So we have pop strings in there now okay. Thursdays and Fridays. We have uh, the Moonshiners in there on sun Sunday nights. And just announced on Tuesdays is Reckless in Vegas. Okay. And this is a, a band that has uh, that rocks up uh, kind of vintage Vegas standards. You know, um, a lot of Frank Sinatra, Luck Be a Lady tonight. The beat goes on. It's not unusual. By Tom Jones is in there, and it's as if uh, it's like uh, as if Green Day got a hold of these songs. And I know. Uh, powered I was them up with rocket fuel. Yeah, you ever yeah seen these guys? Off. sorry. I was, I was listening to yeah. the trailer when you sent it to me or the promo, and I was like, wow, this is really interesting. It's a different kind There's of. There's a edgy lot of cool stuff. Video. Michael Shapiro's family dates to uh, Old Vegas too. They own the hotel that was um, that predated the Stardust on the Strip. <laughs> it's his grandfather. Yeah. So Michael's a local guy. That's him there. And they took this act to the Bay Area for a while and brought it back into mm -hmm. town a couple of years ago. I think three years ago and they've been kicking around town and it's a lot of fun and uh, it's in the barge now also on Tuesdays beginning at about 9 30 p.m. All right. Well, free like shows all of them. Yeah I love that free shows. Yep. So no everyone remember that. Remember that. Mm -hmm. All right also uh, Matt Goss we were saying he's, he was there for six yes. and a half years at the barge but he made a huge announcement with his brother today. I was just in the UK yes. uh, with the crew as well and went to his show at Wembley. Big announcement that him and his brother are reuniting and they're calling it like the biggest pop reunion in the UK Ross. like ever. Yeah. There, there was a, yeah we would say Bros, but it's Bros. Bros, and uh, they were huge in the late '80s and into the early '90s, and they, mm -hmm. you know, were known to sell at Wembley Arena and and, and uh, uh, Wembley Stadium in their mm -hmm. last shows. And there they are. There's a Matt on the left; he's the one in the hat, mm -hmm. and Luke on the right. He's an actor these days. Yeah. Uh, identical twins, and they're going to tee it up in August, uh, August 19th of 2017 for a show at O2 Arena. Yeah. And I've been following the coverage there and following, you know, what you guys were up to uh, in in uh, London when Matt did his shows over the weekend. And uh, it's going to be a real thing. You know, Matt and, and Luke have been kind of hinting at this for a while. Mm -hmm. There's been reporting about it, and we'll see what happens. I'd like to see this develop into more expansive uh, touring for these guys, but yeah. it will help Matt find a home here in Las Vegas however it works out, and I'm hoping that happens. Okay. Well, we do have to go, but we want to put up, just as we head to break, you can check out Kat's column in the Review Journal, and one of the big articles there is on Pia Zadora as well. She has a show that's coming back to Piero's, right? Piero's, Fridays and Saturdays night. Friday, Friday and Saturday nights, Pia's Place at Piero's, a, another legendary Las Vegas location, and Pia's a, a, a real entertaining woman. Very funny, great band, Joe Leno Trio. All right, stay with us.